Hello. In this video, we will take a look at an overview of a post processing system based on .NET. Let's start. I have some open project with toolpath. The toolpath consists of some commands, for example, tool loading, spindle, uh, tool movements. And in the utils menu, I have new item, CL data view. If I will open it, uh, I will see some new window. In this window, we have exactly the same toolpath, but for each command, I can see uh, its parameters. They will help us to write post processors. Now I can switch to uh, post processors tab, and here on the left side, I see some post processors and, and on the right side I will see parameters for each post processor and in the context menu I have create new post processor item for the post processor I need to define new folder because uh, post processor now contains uh, several uh, files. The name of the folder uh, will define the name of new post processor. Now in the list I see new demo post, new item with the DLL extension. New post processors now are regular .NET assemblies. So now we can open the post processor project in Visual Studio Code. Uh, let's hide seal data view. Let's look at the post processor. It has one main file, postprocessors.cs. It's a program on a C sharp language. Here we are writing common handlers. Uh, for example, start project, finish project, start teach operation comment, uh, feed rates, uh, and movements go to, multi go to, or circle. These commands define it in the default post processor. Also, the post processor has some additional files, uh, for example, registers, CS, it's uh, registers list. And another file, settings XML. It's just a simple XML file to define some standard parameters or add new parameters. And they will appear in this window for the user. If I will add new string to this file, compile the post processor, it will appear in this window. Let's try to run our post processor. Visual Studio Code has some tabs, first for file operations and for, for run and debug. Let's create some breakpoint to stop and press run button. 
now the post processor is building and we see that it started and then stopped on go to command and we see that uh, the coordinates are fully the same in this window and in this window now we can go through the code using toolbar or keyboard we can see that after executing of some comments in the CL data viewer new text lines appear so this way we can conveniently debug our code we can go next and all works let's delete the breakpoint and let's look at the results And now let's look at the ways how to navigate through the code. Uh, the Visual Studio Code has uh, some tabs, as I said before, and on the files tab, on the files tab, uh, we have outline section. Here we see some methods. When we click on it, they appear in the code section. And on the top bar, we have the same another way is using keyboard combinations. For example, control shift plus o and typing the name of procedure we can go to it and for example go to command control plus e combination can be used to navigate between files example registers or back to post processors and another combination is to navigate between identifiers inside uh, all files control plus T and typing the name and now let's try to implement some new command handler for example coolant we need to place cursor to post processors CS file and start typing the text overwrite on and the helper show us the handlers we can implement we need coolant just type in coolant enter and it added new text lines for us we just need to delete some unneeded and write the code now we need to add new register to do this we need to switch to the registers cs file copy some existing register and uh, rename it for example m colon it will 
has m code and two zeros. Zeros means required zeros. And nine is default value. Also, we can define some text comment. And this comment will appear each time when we point to this name inside all our code. Very convenient. And uh, now we can use this register. Go back to the post processors. Oh, so I need to add this to the block. Block is a list of registers. And now go back to the post processors CS. And just type if CMD is on then and C is our output file dot m colon dot value has eight else and C dot m colon value is 9. That's enough, I think. And let's try to run. Uh, to build the post processor, we can run build task or just press run. It will build automatically. What some breakpoint to stop and start. Let's see the data view show coolant on, and here we also have coolant. Yes. Next comment. And if we have out block, see later view shows M8. And next coolant is off. where it will output to the text oh no now we have second operation but coolant off doesn't appear in the code we need to fix this bug. Let's go back to the coolant and try to use seal data breakpoints. Delete this breakpoint and inside seal data view uh, we need coolant off inside first operation. Just click and this message show us that uh, Visual Studio Code has some special breakpoints, function breakpoints. We need to copy this name stop on seal data to the clipboard and when we will paste it to this 
uh, another way this section the VS code will stop when the program will reach exactly this function and now we see it's true we have stop and seal data function and coolant of command let's step next and we still see that there is no M9 let's fix to fix this bug we need to output all register values at the finish of the operation we need new handler Override on finish take operation and here we just we just type in C block out I think it will help let's try to run Now we stopped on the column 12. The 9 here. And OK, we have M9. We can make some additional debugging. When we point to variable, we can see all values. And also we can see the values inside the bug console. Here we type CMD and we can expand it and we can see also all the properties for example access count 2 and now let's finish and check G code we can open it inside VS code let's hide and just find for example M0 and at the start of operation we have switch on at the finish we have switch off okay we have correct g-code and now we can move to seal the view to open the resulting post processor we just open it inside Windows Explorer and send send uh, send to the customer. Okay, uh -huh. the customer will receive this file and it can open it inside Sport Cam. Let's try. 
where my input can here I can open post processors window and uh, paste the name here and select our new post and just run it okay now i have j code and our current now i can go through my operations and on the right side i see that g code updates for each operation and inside C data viewer we also have this functionality when we click to the line of g code the serial data viewer show the same uh, command and the uh, back works too. When we click to the command of serial data, yes, uh, in C, G code line will be opened also. So, this way we can write post processors. Thanks for watching.